in bigger news, speaking of MK Ultra programming and Beta Sex Kitten, the shit that came out about Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears. You know, I don't know what's going on with that. Now, I definitely believe that the bullshit is true. I know it's true because of what I read. I know enough about MK Ultra programming that I know that everything that that uh, case is claiming is very true. Okay? Because that is exactly how MK Ultra Beta Sex Kit and Programming works. And to be honest, I think that um, they're even being light because, I mean, that shit can get dark and deep, y'all. I mean, for real. And Hollywood runs off of that kind of programming, it runs off of Beta Sex Kit and, you know, MK Ultra Monarch Programming and Control. Y'all know what it is. Y'all been, especially if you listen to me, y'all know what the hell it is. So. Just like speaking of Kim Kanye again, just like Pete Davidson, he's an MK Ultra. What they call he's a monarch child. He grew up in the industry. He got all them butterflies tattoos. All them tattoos, period, are letting you know that he done been through some type of programming. But them butterfly tattoos, you already know what it's hidden for. He's definitely under that MK Ultra shit. Why the fuck you think he was over there with Kim? Doing rituals and getting programmed, going up levels in the cabal. Just like Travis Scott, just like Travis Barker. Everybody that fuck with them, fuck with them because they're trying to go up levels in Hollywood. And it's, and I know y'all know that, but see, y'all think it's just about them getting photographed with them. No, these people really be behind the scenes doing child sacrifice, blood and sex magic, and all types of um, real fucking programming. Like real brainwash mind control. This shit is not a game. For real. For absolute fucking real. Why the fuck you think the moment Travis Barker married Courtney, this nigga had to be in the hospital? Because that fucking programming hit that nigga hard. He must but wasn't ready for it. Must have got in over his head. And look at his daughter. She all beta sex kittened out. If you go look at Alabama Barker page, her Instagram page, that child that been under so much goddamn MK Ultra programming, it don't make no sense. And he's sitting right up there just letting the shit go on. So is the mama. They all dead ass wrong. I'm not here for none of it. For real. I'm really not. So with Tiffany Haddish, she been going through it. I knew Hollywood had that ass on a fucking ball and chain. When I saw her get into some type of accident, next thing you know, her hair went blonde. Child, you already know what that shit is about. That's why when they go blonde, that that's the number one marker that they didn't they didn't went through that programming. The programming is complete. And Aries Spears, he definitely got something going on because, you know, he was just in the headlines the other day for talking shit about Lizzo. Now all of a sudden, and I haven't heard from this nigga in years. Now all of a sudden, he got all of this stuff going on with Tiffany Haddish. And it's just like, I don't know if Hollywood is killing them. Because you know that's how Hollywood do you. When Hollywood is over you, they, they start putting out a bunch of bad press. And they kill you publicly. They kill you in the court of public opinion. And that's how they isolate you and, and you know, um, exile you. But, because here's the tea. When I read that, I was like, they must have fucked up with somebody in Hollywood. Because everything that was in that report, because I got, I read the article from Glock Topics on Instagram. And I'm just like, okay, the fact that this is getting out now means that um they've been hiding this shit and burying this sh- burying this shit for a long time and the fact that it got out now means that y'all done fucked up with somebody and they was like all right then you know you don't want to do it are you done with all of this well we're gonna unleash the cracking on your ass and you know you know it's true because when you look at the report at least what i read on glock topics The mama of the kids said that she been trying to sue tiffany haddish but it was also a spin because it was like the lawyer was like oh she been trying to just get money she been trying to be on a money grab this one ain't no motherfucking money grab because she only want fifteen thousand dollars from airy spirits 15k ain't no motherfucking money so this woman just wants i think this woman just really does want justice i don't think she in it for money if she was in it for money she'd be suing for any egregious amount of money but she just want to she just want a little bit of change you know the truth of the matter is those children have had irreparable fucking damage done to them. MK Ultra programming ruins people's lives. Many people don't survive it. 
what the fuck you think is going on with Amanda Bynes and Britney Spears and uh, and Michael Jackson? A lot of celebrities. That's why when they get old, you know, Justin Bieber, they start they start glitching. They start having problems because the programming is so strong, and they're trying to put they're trying to put their mind back together. Because literally, this programming splits their mind up. They're trying to put their mind back together, and they're going crazy because they got so many different personalities living inside of them. They're losing their mind. And many people don't make it. Or they end up fucked up for life behind that shit. Why do you think what's going on with Orlando Brown? What the fuck you think is going on with Raven Simone? Why the fuck you think Biaki don't speak? Come on. Like, why the fuck? Come on. It's in front of y'all face. So, I'm not here for Tiffany Hush. I never liked her. She was never funny. You know, Kevin Hart put her on. And look at him. That nigga has then been cloned. And he told y'all he was cloned. And y'all probably just took it as, oh, this nigga being funny. No, there was an interview. You got to go watch this dude on YouTube called Call Me Kinfolk. And he literally has a video of Kevin Hart talking about how he cloned. But remember, Kevin Hart got into a bad accident, too. And, you know, that shit just came and went. That story just came and went. So this shit is real, y'all. These celebrities, they be getting in car accidents. They be different after. Or they have a thriving career after. You know what I mean? Like, the cabal is for real. Like, this shit is really real. So I'm just, I don't know what's going on with Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears. I hope that them two are just over because they're both very negative people. They definitely don't serve the black community no well. And Tiffany Haddish was never funny. She never had talent. Her and Kevin Hart, like somebody on Twitter said, are walking caricatures. And that's the only reason why they have any success. They are not truly talented individuals who really have comedic power. And you know what the people have done to Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle. We know what this shit is. We know what it is. So... You know, I don't know how much more clear it can get, but some of y'all are just so committed to being in the state of denial that she'll never, you know, you'll never see it. Even somebody could eat a fucking baby in front of y'all face and y'all, well, I don't know, you know, maybe it was just a realistic cake that made a really good fondant. Y'all niggas just, you know, y'all niggas just don't want to believe it. So, some people, they, it don't matter. Just like at this point, Beyonce could make a video of her doing fucking voodoo. And y'all still would make excuses. So, it is what it is. Some of y'all are just so committed to, again, the illusion, the illusions and the reality that you want to be committed to. That nobody will ever be able to change your mind. And that's fine. Because you're all entitled to your own beliefs and your own opinions. But that's not going to shake the truth. So, I want Tiffany Haddish off my screen forever i don't want to hear her name anymore i'm glad that this story has come out because it's got to be talked about just like i'm glad that kanye did say hollywood is a giant brothel yes please let these people know that this all of this sex work again sex and blood magic it is that's what hollywood is built off of it is built off of mind control and a lot of people who are running around are products also of mind control because the media and the news and movies and tv shows media the music media of any form is meant to mind control people to also put them in a state of like hypnosis and under like a light mk ultra programming that's why so many people running around are very double-minded and they have very contradictory beliefs because they too are under the hypnosis of mk ultra mind control it is very very powerful it's very powerful because it is not human created these types of mind control are created by demonic entities called fallen angels i'm not playing with y'all so um and aries spears you know they said they caught him actually going around hollywood for some type of tv show scouting boys and stuff like that so that's what i mean it's in your face it's very very um it's very very obvious hollywood is not trying to hide it anymore um, and I'm just glad that this has got out because the people need to wake up and, pe- and the people who are per- um, perpetrating these crimes, they need to be underneath the fucking jail. Really. Bye bye, Tiffany Haddish. Bye bye, Airy Spears. That story is not fake. Y'all and plenty of other people in Hollywood 
do go after kids y'all do touch kids y'all do um horrible rituals on these children to um to put them into mind control programs and to put them into the system of the matrix you know as far as the mother though you know i'm just like um kind of looking at her kind of funny because you know people a lot of the the way these a lot of the way these kids get involved in this stuff is because the parents are all too happy to throw them to the fire you know back in the days of the canaanites and the phoenicians if you look in the bible parents literally were throwing their babies less than a year old babies they were literally throwing them in the fire to sacrifice those children to moloch in hopes of good harvest and success and all this other bullshit. This shit has been around since the beginning of time. Child sacrifice and blood and sex magic has been around since the beginning of time. So I know they're not lying on Tiffany Haddish. I know they're not lying on Aries Spears. I hope they get what's coming to their ass. And if they did make somebody in Hollywood mad. And if that person who I know is ooish, if you know what I mean. If they want to... Get rid of them too. I hope they succeed and get rid of them too. Because those two, along with Kevin Hart and Mr. Jiggerman, who was running his mouth yesterday talking about capitalism and the N-word, and even his wife, Biaki, and all of them, y'all are all was really wrong with uh, the black community. Because y'all are all a bunch of boule Negroes who have no problem, you know, acting like you really for your people, but you really bent over for the fucking man in the back. And thus... You're really a product of them, and you don't mean your people any fucking well. And you'll sell your own self, you'll sell any child, you'll sell anybody in your community out for a chance to have some money and some type of worldly success. So I'm sick of all of them type of black people because those kind of black people do not help the community. They are very selfish, they are all for themselves, and they keep the black community um, behind because for every... um, you know, one of us who won't sell out, there's like 10 more who will. And thus they push that negative bullshit, low vibrational program into their community. You know, Tiffany Hatterson and Kevin Hart have pushed a lot of negative programming in the black community. Their time needs to be over. I'm done with them. That's all I have today. Talk to me online, y'all. Tell me your opinions. Let's have a conversation. And um, and I'll talk to y'all then. Have an amazing long weekend. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and hook up with nobody ratchet. Use protection. Use discernment. And ask Jesus to step in and take the will and give you some guidance so you stay out of trouble this weekend. Have a great Labor Day, y'all. Bye.